Hey, what's up? Today we're going to be doing another World's Worst Tattoos video. Now, full disclosure, I've been having some serious creator burnout recently. It's something that I struggle with on and off all the time. If you don't know, basically, creator burnout is when you've been doing things like YouTube for so long and you just don't want to create anymore. It's not that I don't want to, it's just I, I lack motivation it comes and goes. Sometimes I just, I don't want to work. I just want to do other things. I don't know. I feel, I always feel like it's stupid for me to complain about what my job is. I have an amazing job. It's, I make videos on YouTube. I have you great fans that I just try to make laugh. And I'm lucky enough to make a living out of that. But sometimes you just get that feeling like I just don't want to create. So I'm trying to push past that. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. So basically what I'm trying to say is some of these videos might be a little bit shorter in the next few videos coming out because I'm trying not to pressure myself too hard to make super long videos or whatever. So I'm just trying to get some content out, get over that hump of like creator burnout and just get back into the the motivated fluffy that I know I can be. So that's just my quick little spiel. You know, just in case you're like, why are these videos only five to six minutes now instead of eight to nine? Well, it's just easier for me to get back into it if I don't have to edit as much and I don't have as many pictures. But I don't know. Maybe it's just me being lazy. Anyway, I probably didn't even have to do this whole part in the intro. It probably would have been fine, but I just, you know, full transparency. I haven't been feeling it lately, which is why I haven't been uploading as much. But I'm gonna get over it. I'm gonna get my passion back. It always comes back. Don't worry. Anyway, this is World's Worst Tattoos number 150-something. Let's do it! Hey, what's up? First, we'll start with this Hannah montana tattoo okay are those hannah montana band-aids or hannah montana cigarettes i didn't know there was hannah montana branded cigarettes that's cool marketing smoking to the teenagers who watch hannah montana it's, it's not cool actually yeah it looks like a cigarette pack on your arm you are one hardcore hannah montana fan damn here's a mike Dyson tattoo. Yeah, not Mike Tyson. It's a Mike Dyson. You see? Because there's a vacuum coming out of the top of his head. I like the concept. Even the execution isn't horrible. You know what? I'm going to just stamp this as a tattoo that I like because it's clever. I feel like it could have been done a little bit better, but it also could have been done a lot worse. So, the Mike Dyson. Shit. Mike Tyson with a vacuum nozzle coming out of his head. I never thought I'd see that, but you know, it makes a lot of sense now. Here's a really bad Bart tattoo. I don't, maybe I've used this one before. I don't know. It's looks like a backwards Homer face surrounded by Bart's head and it says, eat pant. Not eat my shorts, just eat pant. Please just eat my pant. No, just one pant leg. Please. You knew what you were doing, right? You had to know this was going to be a shitty tattoo. That's why they were like, do you want me to put eat my shorts? So like, no, put eat pant. It just suits the rest of the tattoo. Failure by design or Dan... <laughs> or Dan Sani, depending on the angle. Yes, alcohol was involved. Failure by Dan Sani. Is that like a new cologne? Failure by Dan Sani. Failure by Dan Sani. Do you want to smell like failure? Then spray failure by Dalsani on you. I could have sold cologne for a living. That's pretty cool. Test. Please don't cut out on me, you stupid Mike. Please don't cut out on me and make my life more difficult. Queen of BJ. Why? Why is this such a common tattoo? I've seen like 15 people with this tattoo. I've used it in other videos. I'm not sure if this is the same one I used, but it's just so many of them. It's hard to keep track. Why? I wouldn't get a King of Cunnilingus tattooed across my chest. And not only because it's not true, but just because it's a bad tattoo choice. You know? It's not good. It's not something you should be tattooing on yourself. It's not like a good memorial, you know? I just want to memorialize the fact that I'm the queen of murder. If I were to be true to myself and get a cunnilingus tattoo, it would be mediocre at cunnilingus on my chest. Just honesty, right? Oh, a little mermaid tattoo. Well, more like a not so little mermaid, but it's, it's like body positive mermaid, which is fine. I would have been completely fine with this tattoo 
wouldn't have even used it in this video if it wasn't for her head being so tiny. Why is Little Mermaid's head so tiny? There is nothing wrong with the body positive Little Mermaid, just the fact that apparently her head shrunk. I don't know why her head didn't get the memo that this was body positive Ariel and, you know, her head just didn't, didn't grow. Didn't get the memo. Oh, it could have been a really good tattoo. My tattoo for the baby I lost back in February. Okay, I'm sorry for your loss. I truly am. Nobody should ever have to go through that. I'm here to assess your tattoo. I just want you to know, even though it's not a very good tattoo, that doesn't take away what the meaning is, okay? I was very, very emotional through the whole tattooing process and didn't notice the mistake until I got home. I felt pretty confident because the whole shop of artists checked it and said it looked good. Can you spot the mistake? It has been fixed by a different artist, but I thought this would belong here. You're the closest to heaven that I'll ever be. You're the closet to heaven that I'll ever be. Is it, they wrote closet? When I say fixed, I mean she made it not say closet anymore. There are a few more spots that are getting touched up in September. You're the clause, but what? You're the closet that... It's not fixed. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry about everything that you've had to go through, and I know you're a little distraught, but your tattoo's not fixed yet. Oh, man. Go to a, go to an artist that knows what they're doing, please. This could be... I And you can always get it covered up, and I do appreciate that you got a tattoo with some meaning. I always like it when people's tattoos have actual meaning. I think it's amazing to get a tattoo to memorialize someone you lost or something like that. Just... You gotta get the the spelling of closest right. You'll get there. You'll get there. That's not fixed yet though, I'm sorry to inform you. Here's a weird, uh, this one I found and it was as a Jesus Batman tattoo. So someone got Jesus wearing a Batman mask, but I don't think that's a Jesus Batman tattoo. It looks more like a Blunt Man tattoo from, uh, from Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. That looks like a Kevin Smith tattoo to me. I'm not sure why it has the whole, like, the, the thing on the head, the whatever it's called which makes it very jesus-ish but maybe this person just thinks that kevin smith is jesus i don't know anyway yeah that's just a blood man tattoo and here's someone getting a face tattoo in some very unsanitary conditions holy shit okay when you get tattoos on your face you don't want the conditions to be this unsanitary you want it to be sanitary when someone is putting a needle in your face at the very least this tattoo artist could have worn gloves you know what scratch that at the very least this tattoo artist could have cut his nails these disgusting long dirt nails and you didn't even put gloves on and you're letting them tattoo your face what are you doing with your life don't let people tattoo your face in unsanitary conditions i shouldn't have to say this but if there's a lesson to be learned from this video it's that you shouldn't let Someone with dirty long nails stick a needle in your face. Anyway, that's the video. I hope you liked it. Check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash fluffy talks, and I will be having a lot more content coming soon because I gotta get my ass back into work in shape. Enough of this slacking, okay? No more slacking. I'm talking to you, Fluffy. You slacker. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>